Hi fellow traders, I'm a little bit late <clears throat> doing these recaps this weekend. I um, had a full weekend of fun in the sun and spent today watching some college baseball and just getting around to doing my uh, recaps from Thursday and Friday. Um, as I said earlier in the week, I kind of ramped down my trading a little bit um, once was letting my body get used to this medicine and my blood sugar levels kind of balance out uh, because there is scientific proof that you know low glucose levels low blood sugar levels will cause you to you know make erratic decisions and it affects your willpower and and all of that stuff and I didn't realize it um, my doctor confirmed it so you know it was something I believed and you know I just kind of took it slow and didn't really overexpose myself too much and seems to work you know I think I've got my head screwed on straight again and ready to move forward but on Thursday um, I just traded a grub it was a um, reversal I didn't trade anything at the open on Thursday and um, this was a nice reversal um, tap this level here 2731 I didn't jump in early um, I started to just put an order up here at 31 and you know a close over 37 would have taken me out but didn't really by the time I thought about it this thing had come back down and I went ahead and got in, you know, right here at, I think it was 27, 22, 23, somewhere in there. And um, took it down. First profit target was the 9. And then caught the second one here at the VWAP. Now I'm trading on uh, smaller size. Normally I would trade this 2,000 and probably break this into four trades but or four covers. But I'm um, wired out, and and I'll tell you after this last my next trade uh, recap from Friday, you know what my plan is going forward. But I only took a thousand shares on this, so you know I took 500 off here. Just took half off at the nine, which didn't really have to, but that was my plan, and take the other half off when it hit VWAP. So I wasn't going to leave any on to see if it faded it or anything like that. Um, and then didn't think about, you know, catching the bounce uh, off VWAP. I mean, everything set up for a nice bounce, you know, off of VWAP. But uh, mentally, I, I wasn't 100% into it and locked in like I should be. So I missed this bounce. This would have been a nice bounce um, to give me some even more good profit but was happy you know with the way I handled the um, the reversal you know it didn't have a whole lot of volume but it made nice moves on um, the price action was good and going into the summer my volume requirements are gonna be a not so stringent as it was you know the first part of the year so 50,000 shares you know, if it's trading over that, then I'm going to look at jumping in. And even though the volume did drop, you know, right after I got in, um, it was still a nice trader. And, you know, was able to, you know, get some profit. I think I got about five, a little bit over five hundred dollars here. So I, I was pretty happy with it. Um, My next trade on. Friday, uh, IMMU, this was a ticker from Gap Scan, the morning gappers. You know, so it's a little bit less than what I normally play, but you'll see why I had this on radar. Um, I did, you know, have a couple other stocks on. Um, I can't remember NEM. I think that was one. It, it made a nice uh, open range breakout move. But this one was a lower dollar ticker. These are what I'm going to be looking at, 
you know, more of now. Um, got the, I was watching it pre-market as usual. I was looking for it to fail to push this and possibly give me a short out, you know, at the open. But this thing gapped up, pushed it pretty good. And then it sold off pretty good going right into the open. So I had my hand on the trigger ready to short this. So it opened here and we got to push up. And I was going to base it off of this level, but the VWAP came in so hard, I went ahead and based it off of that. Um, it ran up and then it started selling off. So I was able to catch it here at 4.45 and, you know, held it. You know, this one was only $4, so I was able to take 2,000 shares on it. Um, still did the half, covered half here um, at 4.20. You know, once I got good two to three to one, I went ahead and took some off. And then I covered some here. This was my goal, the 402. So I covered some here right at $4. And then, unlike the day before, I was watching the bounce. Um, I wanted to take it off of this level. And I, made, I waited for it to close and then get a nice confirmation that it's probably going to push this um so i went ahead and got in here and my risk was a close back below this if this turned around and closed back below this level then i would have taken a trade off and kind of waited to see what it was going to do but i got in here i think 403 and um took it right on up took some off here at the vwap I didn't take any off at the 20 because you can see this thing blew past it. And I really should have taken it off at this level. But a little bit of greed got into me. So I caught it on the washout. I sold it here just in case it was coming back down. And had it lost the 9 here, closed back below the 9, I would have taken the last 500 off. I mean, the last 1,000 off. But. I left it on to see what we could get and we got to push right up to this level here this was my ultimate target 450 so I went ahead and got out I think at 449 is when I um, sold the last bit and thought about holding some to see if we make it because ideally I was thinking when it opened it would push up to the 200 and give me another short you know that was one of the the thesis I had, the theories I had, but um, you know, once it did this, but you know, I thought it might run up and try to tap it, you know, afterwards. So I was waiting to see if it based off of this level, I was gonna go ahead and catch it again and try to push it up, but it didn't. It sold off, and the move was dead for me for that. So it ended up Friday pretty good, um. I think I'm back in the, the saddle, so to speak. But what I was going to say and, and what I'm looking at doing, you know, I've got a lot of um, trade, new traders that I mentor with, and they're starting with, you know, $1,500, $2,000 or whatever. So what I was thinking about doing um, this month is starting over with what I started with. You know, I started with 1500 bucks in 2014 and I was thinking about starting this month with 1500 bucks and um, going through trading my setups but using you know smaller lower dollar stocks that you know you could get in or we could get in with the two thousand dollar account or fifteen hundred dollar account and make these trades and you know slowly grow your account to show you it's, it's okay to make $75 or a hundred bucks you know on a trade you take three trades and you're gonna have a decent daily goal eventually you're gonna catch one you know like this that you can take both ways um, on a thousand dollar account you could have traded this with a thousand shares and made five six hundred bucks bucks off of it, you know real easy so you know there's a lot of naysayers about 
trading with small accounts and you can't do this and you can't do that you know well I'm gonna try to prove that I'm gonna try to start over and do it again um, I did get some software to try and record my screen as I trade so I can um, record it and then share it you know later on in the in the evening so we'll see how that works tomorrow if it works you know out then you know I'll be sharing those trades versus doing a a recap I'll just have the live trade that I that I'm in and you know you'll hear hear my thought process and I'll try to um not use any foul language and all that good stuff but I'm not sure you know how it's going to work so I'll try it tomorrow and see if I can do the live trades there may be some tweaks I have to make because you know like I said I've got um five screens and I'm trying to record just one that has the trading platform on it and everything and not sure how well that's going to turn out but you know we'll see tomorrow um my week uh, let's see this is kind of how it started um, just some small trades kind of getting back into the groove of things on um, Friday was a banner day you know with the, the IMMU trade that was awesome um, so you're gonna see numbers like this you know for the next couple weeks um, and there's nothing wrong it's just me you know trying to you know help some people see that you can do it you just have to be disciplined you have to stick to your plan you know have a routine stick to it and you know you can make it work just have to be patient and can't compare what you make to what other people make in chat because 90 percent of it is BS anyway so you know you just have to stick to your your goals and in, in your trading and before you know it you know you'll be realizing some pretty decent profits so that's all I have for tonight um, I'll see everybody um, bright note tomorrow in chat ought to be fun we've got uh, free chat Monday going on plus we have a special um, seven days free for seven dollars and you know it's not really free it's like a dollar a day but it's practically free but we have that going on too so if you're not a member um, and you really want to get a good feel for what we do um, we are already the biggest um, room in education site on Wall Street for you know day traders so you know if you're not part of it you're gonna want to be part of it so come check us out at um, warriortrading.com so that's all I have and I'll see you guys tomorrow in chat